Step number one of fishing the mullet run every year is to get nice fresh bait using either a cast net or getting it live. Now the best thing about this time of year is there's mullet right there. So I've got a five foot cast net and I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out and get some nice fresh bait to put out on my rigs. So you wanna make sure your net nice and ready to go. Uh, you can throw it however you'd like. I throw it single hand or I guess like without it going in my mouth, I don't know. You can see you wait out just a little. Or the best part about this time of year is you're gonna be able to see the mullet. Okay, it's gonna be very clear that it's gonna be, it's gonna be very obvious where they're at. So you just need to be ready to cast and then as soon as you're ready to cast and you see them, chuck it out there and you should get more than enough for an entire day's fishing in one cast. the mullet run in Florida at least on the East Coast where I live step one is going to be get some mullet we already did that with the cast net step two decide if you're gonna use the whole mullet or if you're gonna use cut pieces today cut pieces seem to be working a little better so I've got two um, poles with cut pieces out one with a big mullet out number three make sure you're in the right spot and you're reading the beach properly if you guys need to know how to do that I'll leave a card right here to a video where I show you how to read the beach and go from there. Right now we're just waiting for bites. I've got my clicker set on all of them so we'll hear, we'll hear anything that goes from there. Um, if you guys have any questions about the mullet run, please leave me a question down in the comments below. All right, so obviously the cup bait mullet is working a lot better than the whole mullet and the fish bites. So see, that's just the time of year for uh, the mullet run is mullet is king. Every now and again, fish want something different. They might want, you know, shrimp or sand fleas or something like that. But for the most part, this is what they want right here. Mullet. First fish of the day, how's it feel? <laughs> oh, two of them. Oh. Some whiting. <laughs> nice. Look at you. <laughs> two whiting in one. All right. So these are whiting. And he got this. Oh no, he didn't. The fish bite's still in there. That was my eye. You okay? Yeah, it was like I yeah, my eye. And they ate on chunk crab fish bites, right right there. See that? Nice. They're, they're a lot big. That was really, how, how rude. <laughs> um, they're a lot bigger than these. I actually cut these chunks in half and then throw them out individually uh, or throw them out on one rig. So one chunk for one rig, um, I think you get like 15 in a bag. So biodegradable. 30, yeah, yeah, completely biodegradable. No bait? What? You're not gonna use it as bait? No, I got mullet out. That's a better time of thing to use for this year. It's going off. No. Ciao. Kertow. <clears throat> Is that supposed to be action? Kertow. No, oh I was just God. saying Kertow so you can say Kertow. Well, this just went off again. Jesus. Jesus. That's the advantage to the mullet run. Even if you're not using mullet for bait, the mullet attracts so many different species which brings everything to the surf. It's a great time of year for fishing. Oh, that's terrible. Seaweed. Woo! Nice little whiting. Yep. Little baby. He said 420. Whoa! Oh my god. Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Jesus. That, that freaking went down hard, dude. This is this has got to be a shark. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap, dude. Look get, at that Get a close-up, get a close-up. Oh GoPro, my start God. recording. He's not even reeling. All right, we're about yeah. to get to the, it's about to spool us, actually. No, not my pink line. This is on the cut mullet. <gasps> there it is. Uh, there it is, it just spooled us. That was all your line. Oh, you can see no. that you can see the backing on it right there. Oh my gosh, no, I love
love that line. See that? I'm so sad. It's gone. Jesus Christ. Look at that person out there floating. Prime shark. Yeah, there. um, that was a shark. 100%. That was either a shark or a big red. Um, either or. He's jumping? Yeah, I'm jumping. You see it? No. Jumping just a little bit. You mean the big thing? No, not straight that out. One. No, mine's. I fine. may have just got that on the camera. Did you? It's facing straight towards us. Obviously, man. What we get? Woo! Oh, that's a nice one. Hell yeah. Is that blue? Yep. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Yeah, it is. Jesus. Touch feet. Yeah, he's a little. He's flashing. I hope he didn't just get that on the camera. Can you back up a little bit? There we go. You got it? Yeah, you can control of them. That's a nice one, babe. Holy yeah. shit. Keeping him? He's yeah. big. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, we're going to keep them. You got, oh, I don't have my tape right there. It might be in my backpack. Do you have yours? I don't have it on me. Or, well, that. Oh, yeah. A lot of people don't like eating bluefish during the mullet run. I, for one, love eating bluefish. It's you so just good. I don't cut understand. the gills, bleed them. Delicious. Yeah, so let's go uh, get a measurement on this guy just to see how long he is. He's definitely legal because it's 12, um, 12 inches at the fork right here is legal. So that's definitely more than a foot. You could get that tape measure. So Kimbra brought hers. I forgot mine. <laughs> so you can see there. Oh, shit. it's even longer. So we're at 14 and a half at the fork. Woo. So that's definitely that's a keeper. big one. Yeah, dude. that's a nice one. So yeah. I'm going to keep him and keep an eye out because this is the first fish that I'm going to clean with my brand new Dexter knife. I'll link the video down below. We'll see uh, how different it is. That was the main word I was looking for there. So, oh man. First off, that was like butter. That was that was like a knife through like a hot knife through butter. 